Hi, welcome to Talking the Town. I'm your host, Tom Johnson. The show is about, well, talking the town. We're going to go around and cover Newport Beach and show you the people and things behind it. We're going to do it on a weekly basis. We have some special guests coming in to join us that are host of other programming coming on NBTV. We'll welcome them and check out some exciting footage. We hope you'll stick around and join us after this. Welcome back. Anytime I could talk about golf, I get excited about it. And uh, earlier this spring, we caught up with tournament director Jeff Purser and took a look at behind the scenes at the Toshiba Classic. Tom Johnson along with uh, tournament director Jeff Purser. Jeff, you got to be very happy about the weather this week. <laughs> yeah, we've had a couple of rough years here and there, but uh, Newport Beach weather is awfully nice when it comes through for you. So. This year, um, as many of the years in the past, you'll be making another big contribution to Hogue Hospital, um, the most profitable tournament. Talk about the tournament and just what it means to the community. You know, it, it's become a staple in this community over the years. And we drive hotel rooms, we drive money for charity. It's great exposure for the community. We're on national, in fact, international television. It's just really a terrific event for the community in a number of different ways. And I think that's why we have 80 or 90,000 people come out and support it and are very proud of it for their community. Let's talk about some of the new things that you did this year to introduce you. You had the uh, Women's Day, you've had, you're adding every year to the tournament. Yeah, as I've said before, if you're not growing, you're dying. And so we try and do something a little different, create something a little new every year, even if it's just a little tweak. We try and create something a little new and different. For example, down at our sports bar, we've got uh, big 60-inch Toshiba flat screens, and we tented that area for people this year so they can you know, get out of the sun, as the case may be this time. Rain last year. But right. uh, and it's just uh, trying to create something special and something new for people every year so it doesn't just become a stale old tournament. And the Pro-Am, has it looked like it was as successful as always this year? Yeah, that's the heartbeat of any golf tournament is the Pro-Ams and the, and the amateur golf. It's fun to watch these guys, but it, let's be honest, it's more fun to play. Absolutely. And when you get to play alongside them, that's a lifetime experience. So when you're playing with these guys and you're learning from them and you're hearing great stories from, from being out on tour, that's a, that's a great experience. Longest running co host course on tour, which is a great statement. Longest running title sponsor on tour, another unbelievable statement. So this is really... This is kind of the, the grand event on the Champions Tour. It's become that, and, and we're real proud of that. And, and the golf course is in incredible shape this year, as it is every year, but it's just such yeah. a great layout and everything, too. It's unique. You, you know, we've gone away from these traditional old-style golf courses where it's a little tighter, uh, the greens and tees are close to one another, and, you know, all the new course, courses that are being uh, developed in the United States are big and vast and real estate plays, basically, where you've got hundreds of yards between green and tee and they stretch out for literally miles they're not as fun yeah, right. and especially for an event you know this creates a, an atmosphere that's really unrivaled on any tour because you can look across five fairways and see 20,000 people and that's that's a neat neat atmosphere well I was standing um, on the 10th tee this morning sending the people off the pros off mm -hmm. and uh, hamming you know, it up yeah but every pro that comes up is, is happy to be in Newport Beach especially during this past year yeah well you know a lot of them come from the East Coast so yeah they're real happy to be here right now but uh, they like coming here we take good care of them um, we, we treat them well and they understand uh, that we're here to help them be successful and they love this golf course and they love this community. Well, it doesn't get any better than this. Tom Johnson with Jeff Purser out at the 20th anniversary of the Toshiba Classic. Well, I want to thank Jeff Purser and the folks at the Toshiba Classic. Obviously, the Toshiba Classic is one of the big events in town and there is some big news coming to the Toshiba because soon they're going to be announcing a change of date to the fall for the Toshiba Classic. And when that comes available, we'll let you know. Now, it's my great pleasure to introduce Carrie Williams and talk to her about her new show coming up on NBTV. I Tell am us about it. so excited to be here, Tom. Thanks for having me here today. Sounds like food. But I'm not cooking, which will come as no surprise to anyone who knows me. 
and will get to know me on the show because I don't like to cook. So what are you going to do on the show? I'm going to eat quite a bit of food, learn from chefs at all the top restaurants in Newport Beach, of which we have many. So it's going to take many, many seasons to get through these amazing restaurants and hopefully a long career ahead of me in this show. And have you been able to dip your toes into anything yet? Yes, but I can't tell you because I kind of want them to be surprised for the first episode. They may be rolling B-roll, in which case... My surprise is now blown as you watch this uh, little segment, but it's going to be great. So we're going to interview chefs, kind of find out what their style of cooking is, how they came to Newport Beach, what's different about cooking in Newport Beach than anywhere else in the world. Of course, it's better. Uh, and we'll also learn about one of my favorite things, mixology, because I love me some cocktails. So and and like Terry said, there are so many wonderful restaurants in Newport Beach. How are we going to get them all whittled down to do Wait, our best with It's going to be difficult. So I'm just going to ask for everyone's help on the team to help me decide. But if it were up to me, we would do. I would just do this full time and go to a different restaurant like maybe every hour on the hour in Newport. Because... I could be satisfied with only that many restaurants. Well, we're going to love having Carrie and her enthusiasm bringing us this dining show uh, from Newport Beach. And we'll look forward to your many, many uh, great episodes. I also now want to shift over, shift gears a little, and go over to another exciting event we are covering. And that's the Newport to Ensenada race that took place last month. Good morning. We're uh, heading out on the Mojo for the start of the Newport to Ensenada race. Um, I'm with Aaron Ramsauer, who's organized this event today. Tell us what's going on out here today. Thank you, Tom. So we are heading out in Newport Harbor. We are on the Mojo Yacht, which is a horn blower and cru- events and cruises um, vessel. So we're gonna go check out the race and see all the boats take off to Ensenada. Well, that's great. And we have some uh, special visitors on board today. Yeah, we actually have a really great group of journalists from Australia who flew in just to see the Newport to Ensenada race. It is the largest international yacht race in the world. Should be a lot of fun, uh, and we'll show you the action. Well, we're out in the Mojo, uh, heading out to the start of the Newport to Ensenada, and I'm with a group of people that are with media over in Australia. Tell me what you do over in Australia. I'm a freelance writer. I'm the editor-in-chief of Elle Australia. Very good. Um, I'm the rep for Visit Newport Beach Great. in Australia. And you're the one that's responsible for bringing the group in. We appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, I'm the celebrity and royal editor for Women's Day magazine. Very good. I'm the editor of thevine.com.au. I'm a freelance writer for New Zealand. So what do you think about Newport Beach? Amazing so far. We've only yeah. been here a day. Um, we were lucky enough to go to the Newport Film Festival opening night last night, so that was really awesome. Um, did you like the film? Yeah, it was really funny. Matt LeBlanc was in it, so it was good to see him make a comeback. Did you see any celebrities hanging around afterwards? Not that I saw, unfortunately. I think I met him at his spotting. I think I spotted an ex-star of the Real Housewives of Orange County, which was pretty good for pretty good spot for me, I think. <laughs> so how long are you in town for? Uh, we're in town for until tomorrow, right? Yeah. 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 It's fleeting. And then are you heading other places in the United States, or are you heading back to Australia? We're having a couple of days in West Hollywood. Oh, very good. Yeah, we're okay. really excited. So uh, have you seen, you've never been to the Newport Dents Not a Race before? You excited to see the start of the race? Yeah, yeah, really excited. We can't wait to get out there. Very good. Anyway, we're heading out on the Mojo, and uh, we'll have the start of the Newport Dents Not a Race in just a few minutes. As you can see over my right shoulder, we have the Newport to Not a Race just about ready to start. Uh, good news is lots of wind out there. So the sailors are really going to enjoy it. It's a little choppy. Uh, we're on the Mojo. We're staying right here in the uh, in the inlet uh, because the boat's bouncing around pretty pretty strong. But should be a great day for the sailors, and um, I would think that the bigger boats will get down there uh, in a very quick fashion. Well, I was out in the town the other day, and I ran into Kelly Lamb. Kelly is our new host for Active Me on NBTV, and I. Ask Kelly about some of the new things she has planned for her show. I am very excited about one of the new programs that's coming up at NBTV called Active Me. And we have found the perfect host for that show, and it's Kelly Lamb. Kelly, tell us a little bit about your background, first of all. Hi, I'm Kelly Lamb, as you already know. I own a company called The Whole Purpose, where we teach mindful wellness and conscious communication in the workplace. Our goal is to teach people how to be happy and healthy inside and out through movement, nutrition, and clean thinking. And one of the th- uh, things you're going to be doing with Active Me is actually taking our people out via TV and getting them engaged on things to do on our waters, riding around on bikes. And I mean, tell us about Active Me and what you envision it to be. 
So I live here in Newport Beach. I do everything active. I love being outdoors. So we are gonna be doing the things I love to do. Jogging, Pilates, yoga, spin, some things I don't necessarily love to do, like jumping off the pier and jetpacking. I'm scared of heights, so this will be interesting, but taking some things that I'm knowledgeable about, knowledgeable about and other things that I'm not so knowledgeable about and learning more. Well, the challenge we've given Kelly on doing this program is to do a lot of fun things around our, our water and, and town. Um, and we did challenge her to maybe get involved with the junior lifeguards this summer and do a jump off that pier. But look forward to a program called Active Me on NBTV with Kelly Lamb. Now it's my great pleasure to introduce Gary Sherwin. Gary is the CEO of Newport Beach & Co. and is going to take an active role in a new show on NBTV. Tell us about it. Uh, I will. And Tom, thank you for coming aboard as our new executive producer of NBTV. I think it's going to really be an exciting new chapter in NBTV and, and all the stories that we're going to be able to tell because the my new program, The Backstory, is really modeled after my good friend Huel Hauser. And Huel Hauser, as many of you know, was a longtime presence on PBS and did this wonderful program called California's Gold. And it was these wonderful little untold little nuggets of California history that when you hear about them, you go, why didn't I know about this? And where did these people come from? It's not necessarily the big stories that maybe you've heard of before, but it's those little things that make California so special. That's what we want to do for Newport Beach. We want to profile those stories that residents ha have right under their noses, and maybe they don't even know it's there. And so we're going to be talking about those stories, large and small, on um, the backstory. And can you give us maybe a couple little tidbits on where those stories might lead to? Well, we're, we're doing one on the film festival, and we went to the opening of the Which film festival. Which is quite festival. an ordeal. Huge, huge deal if people haven't been to that. It is, uh, it is something un unlike anything else that occurs in Newport Beach. You've got the uh, paparazzi and the stars and the red carpet, and it's really a, a very impressive event. And then we're also going to do a story on one of my favorite things about Newport Beach, and it's the fact that Newport Beach is the home of the wild goose, which, of course is John Wayne's former yacht, and it was really more than a yacht, it was a second home to him. And he spent a lot of family time there, uh, he owned this, it's really a small ship, it's not even really a yacht, but he spent so much of his life there. And we're gonna actually have a tour by the former captain who kind of piloted the boat when John Wayne owned it, Burt Mitchell, and uh, we're gonna hear some great stories about what John Wayne did when he was on vacation. You know, we normally associate him sitting on a horse, riding through, sure. fighting the bad guys. But when he was John Wayne in Newport Beach, it was a very different persona. So and we're going to hear a lot of time on that. the wild goose. He sure did. Well, tell us, how do you see, um, with Newport Beach and Co., tell us about your excitement about uh, going forward with NBTV. Well, you know, what I really see is Newport Beach and Company's primary mission is to tell more stories about more things in Newport Beach in a more compelling manner. And historically, we've always done that just for visitors. But through Newport Beach and Company, we're going to be able to tell those stories to our residents through shows like mine and through shows like yours and others. We're going to be able to do it ta talking about a little more about our dining experiences because we have some spectacular restaurants here in town. A lot of people don't know some of the chefs that, that are available uh, for them to go and enjoy and see. We're going to talk about more of the neighborhoods uh, like Balboa Village and some of the things that are going on there. We're going to get more engaged with some of the special events, the, the Newport Beach Christmas Boat Parade, one of our prized assets. We want to make that a better event for people. You know, for example, right now we say, hey, come down to the Christmas boat parade. Well, what does that mean? It means that usually you're standing on an overpass, you know, with a blanket around you watching boats go by. What about putting up bleachers? What about selling hot chocolate? What about bringing in celebrity grand marshals? We want to make this a really even better parade than it is now. And again, that's all part of telling a really compelling Newport Beach story. So hopefully you can see there's a lot of exciting things coming to NBTV, and we'll hope you'll join us. I want to thank Gary Sherwin, Kerry Williams, and Kelly Lamb. We're going to all host great programming, we think, coming up on NBTV. We look forward to you being a regular part of what we bring to this community. Until then, we'll see you next week.